Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an all new redesigned Coachman Pursuit. This is the 2022 Coachman Pursuit model 31BH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Pursuit and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to be showing you the all new design Coachman Pursuit 31BH. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea! Hi, everybody! How's it going? It's going good. We are here in Texas at Motorhome Specialist. Yes! And oh my goodness, how long has it been since we've done a pursuit? I don't know. It's been a while since we've done any Coachmans. That's yes. why we're hitting so many Coachmans when we're here. Yes, you guys. Wait till you see this. Yes. I'm really excited. And Andrea, they made some. Real big exterior changes. I see that. I think it looks fantastic. Andrea, let's begin. Model is 31BH. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 31 feet 9 inches. This is the Coachman Pursuit. This is their entry level Class A gas motorhome. I love what they're doing here. Look, they're kind of doing like this, uh, this nice text right here. That's really nice. I like the headlight designs and everything. I think it looks fantastic. Right up here is the front windshield. And you know, Coachman used to do like a brown look. I like how it's gray now, but with some gold accents. I think it looks really good. Right here, we do have black mirrors, okay? And your camera is integrated into the side of the motorhome. Left side, right side, and reverse. And then look at these tires, Andrea, they're the good years. I love those. 245-70R19.5, very nice. Coming on down the side here, we do have a TV on the outside, okay? And then here, we do have storage. Very nice storage, look at that. Okay, and then because this is a Coachman Motorhome Andrea, they do use the Asdale, which is a green-based material that will never delaminate on you. Also, look at this huge power awning with LED lights. Let's take get that out real quick so we can show everybody. So, uh, two things, Andrea. Not going to show the power awning with LED lights. One, because as Andrea said, it is awfully windy. But two, I've been searching for the button for a few minutes and I can't seem to find it. We'll find it later. But here's what I do know, Andrea. It is a huge power awning with LED lights. And I love the... There's no slide outs in the side, so it is the whole length. There's an electrical outlet right there, everybody. And Coachman does use the Asdell mat. Yes. Right here, we do have storage underneath. Very nice. Propane quick connect right there. Ooh, what's and then this? Check this out. This could be some storage. Oh, nice. Very nice storage, Andrea. That's good for everything. I mean, you can take- Some good height. Yeah, it's good height and everything. It'd be a great place to store uh, my e-bike, which would be pretty cool. Come around the back. We do have a bumper for the stinky slinky. And then I'll tell you again, look. Like that. No ladder to get up on the roof. We told everybody they're running out of ladders. Um, so, and we didn't bring our U step through TSA. Just so everybody knows, this is a one piece TPO roof. On the Pursuit, they use TPO, they don't use Asdell. Um, and then just so everybody knows, there is two AC units on the roof. 5,000 pound hitch, this motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. And then right here, Andrea, is where you fill up your fuel. That looks good right there, the Pursuit in the gold. Right, in the gold. I know, I'm telling you, I really mess with the color scheme on this. I think it looks great on the outside. Finishing up, here's your Yamaha generator, right? Yes. Okay, I keep saying Kawasaki for some reason. 5500 generator, very nice. Here's where you have your cable hookup, black and gray tank fill, city water connection. And then here, oh. yep, is your black and gray tank dump, outdoor shower, uh, winter sewer flush, winterization inlet. Okay. And then here, whomp, whomp, black. Uh, yeah. The heck am I trying to say? It's, a, it's right? a water tank. Black water, water, heater. water heater. And again, with how good this looks on the outside, that kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. And then here, Andrea. Storage! 
tons of storage. 50 amp power cord there. Okay. Very nice. And then here. Love those twisties. Yeah, I'm not a fan of twisties. Right there, Andrea, is your propane quick neck. And then, Jen, if you would, bing, please put all the specs about the motorhome right there. Thanks, Jen. Thank you, Jen. And then, right here, it's just more storage. Nice. Well, Andre, the outside of the pursuit looks great, but I'm telling you, the inside for this price point looks even better. Let's go, take a look. Careful now. <laughs> That's more like a hobble. I can't, <laughs> I can't skip real good on the rocks. And Matt, don't forget to grab our cargo carrying capacity. 1846. Okay. All right, coming up in here, we got our slide in. I'm gonna walk up here first, okay. Here is the cab. Do my 360. Okay guys, so um, walking through here, you know, got plenty of space right here. Of course we can open the fridge and it gets a little small. You can't get, you know, through there to get into the bunks, but the kids can. And then we have a bathroom right here that we can get to the master with that slide in. And yeah, you can use the bed with the slide in. Nice. Okay. And then Andrea, while the slide out's coming out, let's give a big shout out to our sponsor, U Steps. And especially for this one, since this unit doesn't even have a ladder on the roof. <laughs> U Steps is an easy to use telescoping ladder. Very easy to store and bring with you in your RV. With their rubber tops that works individually on uneven surfaces and avoid sliding and damaging walls. Adjustable heights to extend to only your desired height. And finally, the angulated rubber feet maximize surface contact to avoid slipping. We have a video demonstrating the U steps that we have. Make sure you guys check out that video. We will link it down in the description below. Also, we have a link to Amazon to buy their three ladders. Thank you so much to U steps for sponsoring this video. Andrea, what did I tell you? Wow. Super big and bright in here. And again, it's important to mention that this is entry level, but still, it looks fantastic. You wouldn't know it unless, you know, we were comparing it to some of the higher end stuff. Andre, let's get started up front here in the cockpit area. And let's get this engine turned on. You know why? Because it's cold. Because we decided to come to Texas during a cold front, Andrea. <laughs> and it's pretty cold outside. Right here, auto leveling right here. Here's where you control your lights. Nice steering wheel, okay. Right here, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM radio. You do have your cameras on your left, cameras on the right, motorhomespecialist.com. <laughs> right here, we have everything cup holders. And Andre, sit in my co-captain seat, please. Yes, sir. I like the two-tone seats, okay? I think it looks good. Um, interesting doghouse here. Yeah, the doghouse is kind of up in the way, isn't it? Yeah, okay. We have a privacy curtain right here. Yes, ma'am. I like this. This is a lot better. Very lot sturdy. Sturdier. Yep. We got the USB. Uh, both seats do swivel. They do. They do. Um, and something that I also like, Andre, especially if you have cats. Yes. The cats like to hang out here. You know what I'm saying? Yes, they do. Okay. We do have a bunk over the cab that holds 300 pounds. Yes. This is just going to be a single, Andre. And this is uh, manual. Yep. Hey. Guys, guess what we're about to get for lunch? Whataburger. <laughs> have you ever had that, Andrea? I have not. Neither have I. I think it's a Texas thing. Or a West Coast thing. Okay. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay, it's a little one. Yeah, it's just a single. Yeah. So it actually kind of sucks because it is manual because the price point. But again, Less here's the break. There you go. Pros and cons. Uh, got cubbies up there on both sides. Because we actually we're going to review a high-end class a with bunks today but the bunk over the cab was broken so we decided not to review it you know pros and cons over here in the living room area nice nice andrea there's the awning button i knew i couldn't find it and to be honest with you that's a really dumb place because you know why it should always be down there well no because look at this look at this right yeah. Like, you want me oh, to yeah. hold the awning like, like this? Like, right by the step. Well, and like, look at me. I'm like struggling. You know, that's yeah. so stupid. 
Oh my goodness, hold on. Shut the front door. Look at these. Do you like those? Oh, they're so cute. I actually like okay, them as so well. Look. See, it's textured right here. It's, uh, it's like, you it's know what it's like? It's textured, and in the other Coachman's, it's not. It's just like one solid color. You know what it's like? It's cute. It's like a Ritz cracker. Not a Ritz. Uh, what are those? Triscuits? Are, Triscuit. <laughs> it's like a, it's Triscuits. Like a Triscuit. I love Triscuits. Yes. Um, Triscuits are one of those foods that don't taste that good, but you can't stop eating yeah. them. Especially with like the wine cheese. cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Tuna. It's yep. fantastic. Nice uh, sofa right here. Okay. How do you like the pillow? Uh, it's okay. I okay. mean, they try to make it go with everything. We got a jackknife sofa here. Okay. Again, it is what it is. You can't really fit a trifle here. I'm not right. mad about that. And then across over here, we yes. have the dinette with the TV right here. Yes. Well, that's what I do like. I do like how the TV's directly across from the sofa. Um, nice windows on both sides. Comfortable dinette, Andrea. It does drop down to make a bed, which is good. And we have storage under there, Matt. Yes. Nice. Okay. I wish there were drawers. <laughs> yeah. Nice, very nice, um, and just all around a good job. You ready to show everybody the kitchen? I am. But before we do, we do want to remind everybody, we're now with RV Retailer. That's why we're here at Motorhome Specialist. That's why we're here at the Disney World for Motorhomes. It doesn't matter where you guys live or what unit you're ready to buy. Always go to mattsrvreviews.com. One, sign up for the newsletter. And two, if you're ready to buy, click that first contact tab. I will personally make sure you get with one of my team members and make sure that you get a phenomenal deal. It doesn't matter which, which RV you're looking at. Andrea, okay. uh, show us so, what's going on here. Look, we got a cubby up here. Yep. And we've got like a little closet here to hang sweaters. Oops. Jackets, you can hang stuff up. Yep. And then we've got the balance above here with that industrial looking light. I like that light. And then over here we have a kitchen. Yes, ma'am. So we have a frosted cabinet right here. Okay. Um, Got a window. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's hard to get up. Yes. Dark countertop, double sink with an extension. Okay. We have drawers. Okay. Nice. Soft clothes. Very nice. Two more here. Soft clothes in an entry level. I, wow. I love it. I love it. And then over here we have uh, another little cabinet. Yes, ma'am. And then over here we have a microwave. Okay, just a small microwave. Um, a three burner, what is this? A magic Chef. Magic Chef. Propane cooktop. Yes, ma'am. With an oven. Okay, okay. Little oven. Yes, ma'am. And then we've got the uh, Everchill compressor fridge. Okay. That would run off your inverter, everybody. Yes, and yes. your shore power. Very nice. Has that lock there. Then we have a drawer under here. Okay. And then you can see your panel over here and your thermostat and everything else. Yes, yes. Uh, I did mention there is two AC units on the roof. Nice. And then Andrea, look at this bunk area, okay? Entry level, not a lot going on here. 300 pounds for the top. Coax back there, an electrical outlet, nice. But it folds up out of the way. I, I actually like, like that. that. Yep, and then just so Oops. everybody can see. Now see, they have privacy curtains here, I like that. This is great. This is great, and again, this is for young families who wanna get a class A, that doesn't want to drop two hundred thousand right. dollars. You know what I'm saying? And it gets the job done. And then Andrea, check out that bathroom. Okay, so going into this bathroom here, we have a radius shower. Womp womp. Matt, get in there. <laughs> Andrea, do not tell me to get in a radius shower. You have to. We have to see. There's nothing to see here. <laughs> Hang on, something's beeping up here. Okay, I'm gonna open it. All right. Fuel level was low. It Andrea, is kind of low right yeah, here. You get I mean, the radius shower. Yeah, it is kind of yeah. small, right? Look. Of course it's small. Like, I didn't think, I thought the doors went back further to get in, but they don't. Andrea, do you think I hate radius showers <laughs> for no reason? Okay, I mean, it's not bad in here. Nope. I mean, you know. But again, you can't pick up anything on the but floor. I do think that this is not a very big opening, so now I can see why you don't like radius showers. Andrea, did we just make another connection? Yes. Okay, <laughs> hang on, stay in there real quick. Oh, well, we got the sink cabinet. right here. And then here's what I will say. And then Matt, there's a cabinet above you. Get that one real quick. Here's what I will say. Okay. I hate radius showers, but it's okay to have a radius shower if you have a porcelain. Andre, this does sit a little high, but guess what? It's 
a prime poop position. Ding! So I'm okay Coachman with it. on fire with the four P's. Mm -mm. Very nice. All right, so I'm gonna go through this door and Matt's gonna go through the other door. Okay, so we have a uh, sliding, I guess double that slides. would be double slide double door. Double slides. Very nice. Look look at this bed. Oh, I am. Really nice, actually. Yeah, hold I, on. Let me back up to see this. Yeah. Because this is very cute. I really do like their nightstand. Yeah, so let me show. I mean, they have the drawer there. Okay. And they have a another little tiny wardrobe. The Coachman CPAP. station. Yep. Really nice, wow. actually. Wow, and then there is a little place under here on both it's on both sides okay. which is nice and then look at this uh headboard very cute yes ma'am and then over here we have the exit window we've got a nautilus picture there art deco uh, no oh okay <laughs> and then matt look we have a great size wardrobe right here andrea very nice look at this nice sorry window. guys what andrea do you know where we are right now we're at Motorhome Specialist. This is where RV salesmen's dreams come true right here. <laughs> you just have all these RVs that just pull up all the time. It's like, I want to review that one, and then that one, and then that one. Guys, We're going to be reviewing them. Matt is in his happy place here. This is my happy place. <laughs> hey, I want my ashes to be over there when oh I die. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I showed that. And then we have two drawers here. Yep. Okay, very, oh, soft, soft clothes. clothes, I love it. Yes, ma'am. We got two more drawers here. Okay, Matt. And then above here, we got this TV. Okay. Which has storage behind it. Yes. Fantastic. And then a little window there. Yep. Now let's see if we have storage under the bed. <sighs> yep, we got some storage, I think. Nope. nope, 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 okay. It is locked and loaded under there. All right. Well, Andrea, everybody must be dying to know what the MSRP is. But before we do that, it's now time we give everybody three reasons why they should buy this motorhome and three reasons why they shouldn't buy this motorhome. Do you like that? I don't. Okay. Well, three things we like about <laughs> it and three things we don't like about okay. it. Okay. Andrea, what do we do first? Uh, I'm going to do three things we like about it. First, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to go first. Sure. If you don't mind. I already know where you're going. Thank you, ma'am. Always, always. This is an automatic like and an automatic dislike depending on how they do it. And because they do it the right way, and because they flip this up out of the way, I love it. Uh, I love the bunk bed set up here, especially for a price point unit. Fantabulous. That's number one. Okay. Uh, number two. Okay, number two. Okay, I do like the TV setup right there. I'm going I to concur. I will give that to them. Yep. With it be more of a family motorhome. With it being I, a smaller motorhome yeah, as well. I, I like it there. Yeah, not only that, the side windows as well, they really... They really do a fantastic job. Yes. And then Andrea, number three, I'm going to say something that I haven't said in a while. Okay. Or maybe I've never said this. This is an entry level motorhome. It is. And the outside's fiberglass, stickers and decals. Oh, wow. Yep. But the way they designed it, I think it looks fire. I think it looks good. And I think it's, again, it's stickers and decals to make the price point look, the price point low. But it still has like a cool look. And that's something that I really like about it. Well, Andrea, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. May I go first? Sure. Would you like to go outside or would you just like me to talk about the outside features I would rather inside? you just talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, the twisty doors. We don't like the twisty doors. We've never liked those twisty doors. And as you saw when we were outside, it was twisting them on and off, it the struggle was real. That is the first thing we don't like about it. Andrea, number two? Okay, number two, guys. Uh, I don't see a designated pantry space here. I concur. So I'm really kind of, yep. uh, you know, that's a big deal to me. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm looking there, but that's not even pantry, that's coat it's space. It's a coat space, yeah. yeah. So I don't know if we could have just eliminated that and had some kind of like single skinny drawers here. I don't know, out. yeah. I also think that we do need extra counter space. Um, maybe have an extension here or yep. something that pulls out. No, I concur. That's so, a good number two. Yeah. And then number three, Andrea. Oh, I know. And you know what? I'm going there. You're and you know go what? There? You're it go, is little. I know where you're going. No, 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 no. I'm not going there. No, no, no. Again, I'm not. I'm not too concerned with the radius shower, small motorhome, right? If this motorhome was 35 feet, I would go there. But here's where I'm going. The awning button right over here. I mean, come on. This is silly and stupid. And. For me, I'm putting in the awning in and out all day, every day when I'm at the campground. I love that. 
The it sounds stupid, but the awning button should have been right there. Yes. So, I agree. You know, that's where the awning button should it be. It should be. I I totally agree. Yes. Well, Andrea, you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. Okay. MSRP on this unit here is not that bad. $164,460. Andrea, MSRP. Sale price. Motorhome Specialist has a fantastic sale price and we cannot advertise it because it's a 2022. But we did partner with Motorhome Specialist and RV Retailer. So we have a nationwide network of RV dealerships, Andrea. Doesn't matter if you live in New York, Florida, Texas, or California. We can get you a coachman at a phenomenal price. All you have to do is go to our website, which is mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out that first contact tab. It's going to take you to an RV retailer form. Fill out what you're looking for. Fill out your name, zip code, and everything. And then one of our team members will reach out to you to our closest RV dealership partner network. Might be Blue Dog, might be Motorhome Specialist, might be RV One, who knows? All we know is we'll reach out to you and we will find you the closest RVR dealership to you and we will get you a phenomenal price. Thank you guys so much for trusting in, in us and uh, thank you so much to RVR. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and yes. the three things that you dislike. Yes. Coachman does read the comments, you guys, so they do want to see what you have to say. Absolutely. Thank you to Motorhome Specialists for letting us be here today. Yep. We really appreciate it and we're really enjoying it. Yes. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Andrea, we'll see you next time.